Hi everyone, this video is about file management and what happens when this big red scary box with all these languages on it appears. We'll cover what to do when you delete it, rename it, move it, we'll go and find footage. I can tell you're excited for this one, file management. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. All right, the next thing that's going to cause you problems, or not problems, just good to know, is when you mess around deleting footage. So I've got my project here. There's my Premiere profile. You can see it's quite small, 43 megabytes, kilobytes even. Okay, and it stays nice and small by actually just linking to this footage. It doesn't actually bring it inside itself like something like Microsoft Word or Photoshop where it kind of like draws it into the one file. Okay, just links to them. And what happens though, if you delete one of these files it's trying to link to, I just, let's say for instance, I deleted it by accident. Okay, and I come in here and it freaks out and it goes, this window appears, the big red scary thing in lots of languages appears. And it's gonna say, I'm missing this file. Okay, and you're gonna say, let's say we've deleted it and we didn't mean to. What I'm gonna do is, I, I can't go and locate it because it's binned. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offline it all. Now I need to go back and just find it, Okay, undelete that file or get it off the network drive that I left it on or my USB stick, put it back where Premiere Pro can get it and it's not clever enough to go and find it, I can right click it, it will go and find it. You can either, you just have to turn Premiere Pro off and on again and it will link to it again. Uh, let's go to replace footage and let's go to you and all's well in the world again. All right, let's do another for instance. Okay, let's say that I'm bringing in footage just to kind of test it. I was like, oh, I wonder if this will work. Okay, I'm gonna bring in uh, something that I was messing around with. Okay, and I brought that in and I kind of played with it. This is me talking. Okay, the beginning of this video, I was just checking it looked all good. Okay, and I do this all the time. I'm like checking it, I'm like, yeah, that looks cool or I don't need that anymore. Okay, and I'm going to go to my files. Okay, and there it is there, I'm gonna delete it. And then this thing goes, I freaked out. So I've deleted it on purpose and I just forgot I had it anywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna go offline all and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say you, uh, I can trash you. We'll just hit delete on my keyboard, get rid of it. Okay, cause I, I don't want it on here. I just, it was like a test. I was just checking it. Okay, but Premiere Pro says, if it just deletes, that's great. It hasn't been used anywhere. If this pops up, it says, hey, you're deleting something that actually is being used in one of your sequences. Would you still like to delete it? And that's when you kind of take pause and go, actually, I don't realize I was using that somewhere. And you need to go and look in your sequence to see where it is. I'm like, yep, I don't mind, go away. And it deletes it from both the timeline and your project window. Next issue is renaming stuff. Okay, so you're gonna kind of record it. It's gonna come through as like, whatever your camera records it in and you wanna kind of maybe, you know, name it nicely. So let's say I go in here and I need to call this one V1. Okay, same problem's gonna happen here. It's gonna freak out. Okay, the red wind bar's gonna appear back here. It's gonna say, what would you like to do? And let's say that we, you can do it from here. Okay, straight here. Or let's say you do offline it. Let's find the big red bar. Ah, okay, and you can see in here it's a question mark. Same kind of principle as deleting it. Okay, it doesn't know where it is. What we're gonna do is slightly differently is right click it and go to replace footage. Okay, and say actually this is it. Um, where are you? That one there. Okay, and it connects it back up again. So renaming will freak it out. So just be careful of that. Next thing that is less weird and more helpful is if I go and move footage. So let's say that I uh, I'm in here and I've got it all messy and I need to start some kind of folder structure and I'm gonna put in my uh, footage. Okay, and I go and move XD1 in there. Okay, the cool thing about Premiere Pro, it goes, it kind of little had a little twitch there, but it went and found it. Okay, uh, it seems to only work if you, uh, if it's kind of like near the program, you know, the Premiere Profile and kind of deeper. It doesn't seem to work as well, well at all. I haven't put, the, I don't know exactly how this works, but if I go and stick it on my desktop, it goes too far, can't find back to the crazy red box. Okay, so if you're moving it, I, th I imagine it's just kind of like from the root of where the file is all the way through to kind of other boxes, it seems to work just fine. So I'm going to yeah, just know that. So you can rearrange without having to relink, but if you go too far, it freaks out. Last tip in terms of this file management, let's just say that uh, you've got footage and it's all moved. Okay, so I'm gonna hit cancel. Let's go to this one that says, all right, this one here, I'm gonna put them all on the desktop and they're all gonna freak out. Let's say I left them at work on a network driver on a USB stick and it's gonna go, ah! 
Okay, and you don't want to have to go and find each and individual ones of these or right click them and relink footage. Okay, what you can do is let's say that later on you, you're like, oh man, I'm just going to cancel that. Okay, and what you can do is just put them back where it got it. Okay, everything can go back in there. Get a one back as well. And what we can do is in here, instead of having to try and relink them, right click, uh, link to footage or um, doing any sort of other thing. Okay, just go to file close the project, yes I'm saving it, and then open it up again and Premiere Pro is pretty good and goes, when it opens it goes and tries to search for them all and just kind of cuts down your time having to go search for them. Alright, uh, that is kind of it for the file stuff. You'll end up moving things around and losing them and seeing that red screen all the time. One last thing is quite helpful when you're dealing with footage, let's say I do move it and I'm like it's going to desktop uh, and I don't know where it is. It's on my machine somewhere. I go to offline, okay, and I don't know where it is. I can right click it and say, actually, let's go and uh, replace the footage. Okay, actually, we're going to link the footage. Okay, and in here, we can do a search. So I can say, I want to find this one here. I'm going to go to locate. And this window here is, if you're like, man, this is really hard to use, it is <laughs> this window. I just use a finder window like everyone else. Okay, um, yours might be on this as well. So I'm going to go to list view. What I want to do is kind of give it a help. I'm going to say, look, I'm in my my hard drive somewhere, and I want you to display only the ones that have the exact match because that's all I'm looking for. Hit search, and it will find it. There it is. There. Hello. Okay, click on it. Click OK. And the cool thing about it is, if you're missing other ones, it will automatically go and find those at the same time. So if you do miss one, you don't know where it is. Use the uh, link media, and then use locate. All right, that is enough about file management. Let's get back into some of the more exciting things in Premiere Pro. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here. And also, if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.